Desi, what's it been like for you being in the starting lineup and you've been playing real well? I think you've had 10 out of 15 threes the last three games. What, what's it like starting and what's, what, what's, what's been a, a big key to your play? I just like my teammates having confidence in me and I just got to go out there and do my job and have confidence in myself. That's the main thing. That's like 66 percent. Yes, sir. I mean, that's pretty high. I've been putting in work like before practice and even on the off days, and just trying to get up shots and help my team out, help my teammates out. Well, what was your reaction when um, when Mike Anderson told you you'd be starting? How do you think you've adjusted to that role? Um, a normal reaction, just it got to step up for my team. It's like I've been there before. I used to be a starter, but now coach gave me the opportunity to be a starter, and I'm running with it. With your uh, three pointers, you still feel you're emphasizing defense first, even while doing that. Yes, sir. Defense lead the offense, so I maintain that and um, try to do what I can on the offensive end and help them score the ball when it's when it's needed. Hey, this is for both guys, and that, I know you know Isaiah pretty well, but you know we all know he's a great three point shooter. But he leads a team in charges, taking he leads in steals. He's not the biggest guy, you know, muscle wise. Well, what do you think about his charge taking and? And what do you guys both think about you know, what the, how that helps the team and the fact he's you know, a guy that's not the biggest guy in the world will sacrifice his body like that? We all know Coach A like defense, and that's what we come out and do first, defense. And like Isaiah Joe, we know he is a sharp shooter, and he sacrificed his body, and that's helped us get the ball back. Yeah, you know, like uh, by him sacrificing his body for the team, you know, it says a lot about him, his personality and all that. So, uh, so that, yeah, that goes a long way with Isaiah Joe. And by him, be just that's just, you know, we, we Coach A emphasizes guarding a man and a half. You know, by him being over there, being a hip side to take those charges, you know, it means a lot. You know, it kind of shows that he, he has his brother back. For both guys, just what have you thought about Daniel's play the last week? And you feel like he's kind of playing with the sense of urgency that, that Mike talks about all the time? Oh yeah, Dan is he 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 know like what's his stake, he know like uh it's March, you know, March is like that it's basketball fever, that's the time of the year. So, you know, not only Dan but it, like every player has turned it up a little bit, you know, 'cause we know what's at stake. And, you know, we are not trying to go home, we're trying to go as as far as we can. I just feel like Daniel Gafford playing like Daniel Gafford, like what he's supposed to be doing. He is the head honcho of this team, we following his lead. But do you guys think he's taking it to an even higher level? He's recent, especially Saturday. He just seemed like he was unstoppable, you know. That's Danny Gafford. That's, that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> and like that didn't that didn't surprise us. It probably surprised y'all, but that's that's what Dan does. Right. That didn't surprise us. He doing that in practice, and he taking to this game, take to the game, and that's what he we need him to do, and we're gonna follow his lead. Adriel, you're coming off the bench. You're 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 an older guy, but how, how has that been for you? Because it seems like you you come in and still you know get rebounds and score inside and play defense. I mean, it doesn't seem to have affected you. Oh no, it's just, you know sacrifice. You know, if it sacrifices me starting for us to win and you know to get game like to win games, and I'll, I'll do that. You know, I'm I'm all about winning. What do you guys remember from that first game about Florida? I know you only scored 51. And uh, does, how long ago does that seem? Because it was really early in the year, obviously. <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed like it was a little, a little minute ago. But, uh, you know, Florida, we know that's a good team. You know, we're not going to base off, you know, we're not going to base our, uh, our, our approach to the game of what happened last game. We know we're going to approach that as the next game on, on the schedule and try to win. Yeah. We're going to come out, play tougher than what we did last time and try to execute more on offense to end and defense to end. We hopefully come out with the win. You say, Jerry, that first game against Florida, the bench didn't score at all. Just kind of how much is is on the bench to to uh, produce this game? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're a different team from when we first from when we first started out. We, we, we've got way better. We got more, mostly we got more guys in tune on what we're trying to do. So I'm that I'm, I'm not worried about you know bench scoring. I'm pretty sure they're gonna, we're going to come in and provide. So as I remember, Mason Jones scored like 30 on them. Just you feel he'll be one both of you that you all look for tonight or uh, Thursday just because of the game he had against them. Uh, you know, we, 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 just like Dan, we look at Mason to provide. We look at each player to provide. You know, to play their role. You know, if, if some days Mason may not have an offensive game, but he can make up for you know playing those lanes and getting steals and stuff like that. So if he does come in and have a thirty point game, we're gonna keep giving him the ball. <laughs> yes, sir. You guys, um, 
you know, you played real well at Kentucky, played, played well enough to win, didn't quite get it, and then you've won three in a row. What kind of confidence or momentum do you think you guys are taking into the tournament after that uh, six-game losing streak? Um, we're going in as a defense um, effort. Like, we're just going into the game as defense, and the offense is going to come, and we're going to go from there. Yeah, uh, kind of like what he said, you know, we're going we're gonna to preach defense because, you know, defense does lead offense. You know, if we get stops, all we have to do is come down and execute. You guys are the ninth seed. There's three teams, you know, Tennessee, Kentucky, and LSU all ranked in the top ten nationally. But do you think you guys could could uh, could be a you know dark horse and, and and win the tournament? I mean, do you feel confident? Yeah. At the end of the day, to to us, rankings don't mean nothing. At any day, any team could be beat. So you know, rankings don't mean nothing to us. Yes, sir. Rankings don't mean nothing. Just like he said, we just ready to play ball and then see what we can come out with. I guess Desi, this time last year you were state, you know, we're playing for a state championship at Jonesboro. Just in a year, just what's been the, you know, has it kind of a whirlwind for you to when you look back on it all, what's happened? Nah, not really. It's just I'm gonna just treat it like any other tournament or any other game and just focus on what I got to do for the Razorbacks. I guess, hey, Drew, what uh, what organizations and stuff do you? work for to get the community service award or what some things did you do? Uh, I don't know about organizations. Well, like, uh, <laughs> you know, charities or whatever. Oh, yeah. You know, we do like this, uh, I don't know the names of them right off the bat. I kind of just do them just out of the kindness of my heart. So, I, well, if they, like, if, uh, if Mr. Roger, like, he's, like, over the community or Coach Dane is coming, asks if, if I want to do, like, if, if I'm willing to do it, and I'm always saying, yeah, I'm at what time it is. I do right out, in between classes, before class. If I have an off day, I do it, you know, just out of kindness of my heart. So. Hey, well, what, what kind of activities, working with kids or reading to kids or playing yeah, just, hoops with kids? Or what, what sort of stuff do you do? Oh, uh, no, you can, uh, like, we kind of read to them, uh, just, just kind of, like, giving them a day. Well, well, some, like, I want to say, like, last, last Thursday, kids came down, like, fourth graders. They came and met with me and some of the football players, and we just kind of gave them, like, a – I could kind of like a view of what it is to be like a student athlete, you know, just like day to day self of being a student athlete, kind of like classes, how important education is, and staying on top of your books and stuff like that. How's it been dealing with the fan base? Do you guys just kind of tune it out when y'all aren't doing well just to keep up your own inside <laughs> team positivity? We don't look on Twitter and nothing like that. Can coach tell you that? So we just stay focused on what we got to do here. Yeah, we we kind of we kind of focus in and gelling what we have to do to get better as a team. You know, naysayers gonna be naysayers, and they gonna say what they gotta say. But at the end of the day, we gotta provide and we gotta do what we gotta do. You guys, you know, you're 17 and 15, but, but so is Florida, and they're supposedly in the tournament right now. Maybe not if you guys beat them. Do you guys have any sense for what you gotta do to get an NCAA bid? Do you feel you have to win the tournament, or maybe get to the title game, or get to the semis, or what? What sort of sense do you get about that? You know, we're not we're not going into the tournament to you know to not try to make it to the tournament. We're going into the tournament to try to win every game. Each game is a championship game. So we're going to we're playing against Florida. Whoever we play is a, is going to be a championship game. I'm sorry, Desi. You got it. I don't got it. He got it. Do I say something? I'm good. Okay. And Florida, if you guys beat them, they may be out of the tournament, out of the NCAA tournament. I guess right now they're first, last four in or whatever the bracketology stuff says. So, I mean, how intense do you think this game will be? Because both teams are really fighting for their tournament lives. It's going to be a very intense, and we want that spot into the tournament, and we wanted to win. So we're going to come every game like it is and try to beat them. Same. Like I'm gonna pick back off. You said each game is a championship game. You know, it's either win or go home for us, and we ain't trying to go home. Yeah, you know, we know it's at stake. You trying to win it? You backing off of that though. I mean, when you're going through that six game win streak, I don't know if that's even in your thoughts. Now you've won three in a row heading into the tournament, and you're hot. And, and have an opportunity to play your way into the tournament. What's that mean, and, and how much do you guys take that into the tournament this week? Oh, that just means to us, you know, sense of urgency has to go up. You know, we, we got to know uh, the game plan, have to listen to coach and what he has his plan for us, because I know he ain't going to lead us in the wrong way. So uh, at, that, at, at that point, we just have to execute and do what we got to do to advance.